Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be practicing my birthday makeup look for my night out this weekend. I'm practicing this ahead of time so when the day comes, nothing goes wrong, hopefully. Later on, after the makeup's done, I'm also going to throw on my dress so you can see the whole look come together. So before we dive into the makeup look, today's video is kindly sponsored by Majuri, which is always such an honor. They're one of my favorite jewelry brands just because their pieces are so high quality, I never have to worry about them. All of my pieces still look brand new. Even the pieces I first purchased from the brand still look brand new, which is so, so incredible. And I just adore their pieces because they have such interesting styles, but they're also timeless. Like I know I'll have all of these pieces for life. So now I'm going to give you a little mini jewelry tour. I'll start with my earrings. So I have been adoring these bold medium hoops recently. They're part of their new hoop collection. I've just been reaching for them every day. I love how square they are. I feel like they have like a little bit of a unique twist to a classic bolder hoop. And then for my second holes, I've been switching between these Pave Diamond Huggies or these Pave Diamond Climbers. I am wearing the climbers today because I just love how it makes my ears look more pierced than they are. I want more piercings, but I don't want to go through the healing process, so this just gives me the illusion of more jewels on my ears. And now for my necklace, this has been my favorite newer addition to my necklace collection. It's the Serpentine Necklace. It's a really fine mini chain. When you look at it up close, it has like a little S-curve in the chain, but I just love how it moves with your body and the way it catches light is so beautiful. It almost looks like a melted string of gold around your neck. Just the way it hugs your collarbones and just moves with you, it's really, really fun to watch and it's really attention grabbing. I always get so many compliments on this one and I love how it's super dainty so it's fun to layer with other things, but it's a showstopper on its own as well. And finally for my hands, I always have my hands decked out in jewelry just because it really helps with my anxiety and also gives me something to look at if I'm feeling anxious. So I have a lot of fun pieces always on my hands. So on this hand here, I have two of their dome rings. I have their classic domed ring as well as their pave diamond ring, which is a piece that I wear every every day. It's so beautiful and sparkly. And on my middle finger here I have my diamond band ring which has three little diamonds in there. And on my right hand, on my ring finger, is my bold stacker ring. It's just like a nice squared off band and I think it looks really nice with these bold hoops I have on. And then on my middle finger here is one of my all-time favorite rings. It's the heirloom ring. I have a couple of them but the green one is my absolute favorite. I just love how much of a showstopper it is. I'll even take off this bold stacker here so you can see it on its own. Like how beautiful is that? Green is my favorite color and I just wear this one every single day. It's gorgeous. For my little birthday weekend, they sent over my friends and I each a pair of these beautiful emerald cut earrings. I haven't put them on yet because I wanna put them on for the first time with my friends. I'm filming this prior, obviously, but I'm so excited to see their reactions and have something the same with all of my friends. It's just so, so special. I can't even begin to tell you how much this means to me. I, I yeah, it's something I never would have dreamt of. Like, I can't believe it. It's so sweet and so incredibly generous. So those are all of my current favorite pieces from Majuri. I'll have a link down below to my landing page, which will have all of these pieces, including the other ones I have in my collection as well. And I will, of course, link each piece individually down there as well. So now I'm just going to pin my bangs back and we'll jump into the makeup look. So everything I'm going to be using, you have seen me pack in my makeup bag recently, except for one new thing that I'm really, really excited about, which you'll see in soon. I'm getting ahead of myself. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation and I'm going to be mixing equal parts of 1.5N and 2N. I'm kind of in between these two right now. I have to tell you guys something a little funny that happened in a dream of mine recently. I know whenever people talk about the dreams, it's kind of boring, but it has affected my real life. So I was getting ready, but it was a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> but I was still filming videos for you guys, and I had applied my foundation with this kind of a brush, and now I'm doing it in real life with no zombie apocalypse, thankfully, but 
um, this brush does a really really good job at applying foundation it's more fluffy it's not as compact as other brushes I have been going in with sorry my lighting's a little bit bright so now we'll be able to see what's happening but this is the Moda buffer brush and it applies foundation so nicely and quickly which I don't even know where I got this in my dream but I guess thank you I'm going in with this foundation just because it has a good amount of coverage and it's been really nice and long wearing for my skin. It also is um, quite reliable, like it's predictable the way it's going to wear. And I'm going to build up the coverage a little bit more in the center of my face. I want a flawless look. As always, I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender just to take away any excess and I always feel like this makes my skin look extra good. Now it's time to conceal my under eyes and I'm going to be going in with my favorite concealer which is the Lancome All Over Concealer in the shade 250 Bisque W. I'm gonna take a little bit more than I usually do just in this section here. I want a really brightened look in the center there and I'll be blending it out with my sponge. And to set my under eyes, do I even have to say it? I don't think so. Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder in the shade Light. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes for the meantime. Uh, now I'm going to start contouring my cheekbones a bit with, of course, the beautiful Fenty Beauty Amber Cream Bronzer. Contour is on. I'm now going to bronze my face up using the Glowish Bronzing Powder in the shade 02 Medium. I'm going to take my favorite bronzing brush, if I can find it. There it is, the Blending Fan Brush. I'm just going to bronze up my forehead. Okay, my contact lens is after me. Something feels like it just stabbed me in the eyeball. <laughs> I need a second. That was a vicious attack on my poor eyeball. I think everything's okay. So now for my highlighter, I'm going to be using my NARS Fort de France. Fort de France. I haven't used this in a while. I am applying this with my favorite um, highlighting brush, the Moda Pro Glow Brush. That is so pretty. I applied it a little bit more intensely today because I feel like it'll be nice at night, you know, with the, with the dark, moody lights. And for my blush, I'm going to be using my Heaven's Glow blush from M Cosmetics in the shade Baroque. And I'm going to apply it with this nice kind of angled fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply it kind of on the apple, kind of on the other half of my apple of my cheek. So a little bit in between the highlighter and bronzer and contour, but a little bit on its own over here. Oh, you know what I wanted to try? I don't remember really doing this besides doing it with eyeshadow. I wanted to contour my temple. This is a very TikTok thing, but I've never done it. I wanna try. So I'm taking some of that amber again. I think I put too much. Ooh, okay, that's kind of cool. Might incorporate that if it looks good near the end but I'm really loving the way this base is turning out. It's turning out the exact way as I imagined it. Really nice and fresh and glowy, but it doesn't look too much, you know? And I haven't been putting anything on my nose. Since I got the bangs, I feel like it makes my nose look weird when the bangs are down. It's like all the attention goes to my nose instead of like the eyes or the lips. So this is where I'm gonna leave the cheek products at. I'm just gonna quickly set the center of my face using the Cloud Set from Kosas in the shade Feathery. I'm going to set the entirety of my forehead using this Royal and Ling Nickel Balm 125 brush and the center as well. Just where I get oily. This base is perfect. <laughs> I'm so happy that all of these things are looking good together. I'll bring you guys in so you can see how things are looking on my texture. If you're newer to my channel, I never ever use any blurring filters, just so you can see how everything's sitting on my skin, and I also don't even know how you do that. I'm 
I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the brow intermission. So I'm first gonna take this contour color from this M Cosmetics palette and I'm going to throw this into my crease to give us a nice base. I am going to be doing my double wing. It hasn't made its debut on, I was gonna say on the red carpet, on the pavement. That's it for now with this. I ordered this beautiful thingy from Pat McGrath. It's like this eye kit. I think it's the 006 something kit, but look at this shadow that comes in the kit. Okay, that already looks insane on camera, but it's a trio chrome. But it's such a pretty trio chrome. Sometimes there's like a grayish color in a trio chrome, but this one's so beautiful. It goes from like a violet to this greeny teal to this bright blue. Like, come on, come on. I'm like hypnotized by it in my monitor there. I feel like I could do this for the rest of the video. In this kit, it also came with the Mayron mixing liquid. So you can put a little bit of this in the shadow to make like a liner. And it also came with one of the Pat McGrath black liners. So I'm going to create my double wing using this here. This is the Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in the shade Extreme Black. It was going so good that I bumped it. So now I'm in the middle of panic fixing with concealer with this little angled brush. There we go. It's fine. It's all good. So now with this little angled brush, this is a Smith 203, I'm going to dunk into this shadow. It's called VR, oh my God, what does this even say? Sextra Galactic Triochrome Pigment. Sextra Galactic. I love the way she names her products. It's always so extra and I love it fully. I'm going to put this over top of the top liner. I don't know if I'm gonna do the bottom one, we'll see, but I think this is gonna look, as Pat McGrath would say, major. I'm putting this on dry to begin with, but I might dampen it with some of that Mayron mixing liquid. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is why we practice, because I would never come up with this right on the spot. So I just dunked the Sigma winged liner brush in there and I'm dedicating this one spot in the shadow here to dampen it and I'm gonna make a liner consistency. And here we go. I feel like this is already looking really cool. Oh my God. And I'm layering it over the black because it usually enhances like the triochrome effect and it totally is. <gasps> Whoa, this looks so cool. Ooh, 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 I just got an idea. I'm gonna make a little liner with this in the inner, I need a small brush. I'm too excited, I'm not even explaining this correctly. I'm taking this tiny liner brush just to create a really thin line. I'm just using the Mayron mixing liquid and this shadow. Um, I'm gonna make a little liner with this without layering it on top of the black to see if it like creates a really cool ombre. That is so cool. Do I put it on the bottom? While I decide, I'm just gonna do this eye and I'll be right back. So I decided I'm just gonna leave the top liner be the moment. I think a bottom one would be really cool as well, but I think this is the move. So the last thing I'm going to do shadow wise is add that contour color to my lower lash line. And for my mascaras, I'm going to be using the MAC Stack Mascara for my top lashes and, and the Annabelle Skinny Mascara for my lower lashes. I almost forgot an inner corner highlight. I'm just going to take my NARS one. And there we are. Here are the eyes all done. I have a little mascara on my lid, which I'll scrape off when I can. But this looks so cool. Wow. I hope this is picking up something. It's so cool in person. Wow. Okay, and for lips, I am going to be keeping it pretty simple. I'm going to line my lips with Melt Bear. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using Teddy 2.0 from MAC. 
I wanted a soft matte lip with this look. And here it is. I'm just gonna quickly go get changed and I'm gonna fix my hair a little and I'll show you the finished final look. I just changed into the dress, but before I show you the outfit, I wanna show you an up close shot of the finished final makeup. I think this turned out so much more fun than I was anticipating, but this is my birthday look. I love this through and through. This is so, so fun. But now I'm going to show you the fit. And here is the outfit. I originally wanted to wear these sandals here, but it's the end of March, so it's slushy season. So I need to wear these boots, which I actually really like. They're from Call It Spring. I feel like it gives this outfit kind of like a more gothic look, especially with these sleeves. And speaking about this dress, it's from House of CB. I've had my eyes on this dress for a while and I think it's very cute and flattering and it's also very comfy. I love how it's kind of a halter top so I don't really need to wear a bra. My boobas are supported. I really like how I can put the sleeves down like this which is how I'm planning to wear it or you can put them up on your shoulders as well. But I also love how the sleeves are sheer so you can still see my tattoos through them. I just think this is such a flattering cozy dress. It's slightly flowy. It's so cute. I just love how this turned out. And before I head out, I just wanted to say another huge thank you to Majuri for sponsoring today's video and for spoiling my loved ones. It just means so much to me. Again, I'll have a link down below to my landing page with all of the Majuri pieces I own. And I'll also link all of the pieces individually. But that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my birthday get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in the description down below as always, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.